Hello and welcome to another Nitrix tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you firstly how to accurately split an AVI file and after that I'm going to show you how to join the two split files back together again. Uh, for this I'm going to be using Virtual Dub. Uh, it's a free program that I briefly went over in a previous tutorial. Uh, if you just go to virtualdub.org uh, click on downloads and you can download it from there. Uh, you'll download a zip file, just extract that zip file to wherever you want and go into the folder and start up virtualdub.exe. Once you've done that, you can just drag and drop the AVI file that you want to split. And then we have to do a little bit of maths. I'm very very bad at maths, so I'm going to use my trusty calculator here. Uh, we want to look at the very end of the, of the file. There are, is a big number. Uh, this is how many frames you have inside the AVI file or inside your movie. So we have 185,344, uh, which we want to divide by and that gives us 92,672. So the center of our movie, or our AVI file, is 92,600, about. Once we know that, we want to we have a slider at the bottom here. Make sure it's on frame 1. You can see here it's on 0, sorry. Uh, and then on your keyboard, you want to press the home button. And then you'll see here, selecting frames, zero. After that, you can just click on the slider, move it roughly to where you want it. Okay, and then press the shift key on your keyboard and use your arrow keys to move more accurately. And you can see here we are jumping from 79 to 67. The reason for this is because we are because we have the shift key hold uh, hold down. We're going from keyframe to keyframe, and this is very important when we make the split. In the first half, we want to have a keyframe, or the end of the first half, we want to have a keyframe, and the beginning of the second half, we want to have a keyframe. This is why we have to have the shift key uh, held down. Um, this does mean we're not exactly in the middle, but to be honest, it's so minimal, nobody's going to notice it anyway. Once you've done that, you just want to press the end key on your keyboard, and you'll see it highlights the first part of your AVI file. Once you have that done, you want to click on video and go to direct stream copy. By default, you're on full processing mode. Um, for our <laughs> Uh, for what we are using it, we don't need this. If you use full processing mode, you'll have maybe a 15 gigabyte uh, AVI file instead of a 720 megabyte AVI file. Uh, audio should already be on direct stream copy, so you can leave that where it is. And then after that, you just go to file, save as AVI, and we can change this to part 1. And save that. So I'll uh, let this finish off and then I'll get back. Okay, so our first part has finished, as you can see here. So now we want to get our second half. Now again, uh, we want to press the home button on our keyboard and then quite simply drag the slider to the very end of the film. Just make sure uh, that these numbers match up. So you're 100% sure that you're at the end of the film. Then you press the end button on your keyboard just like you did in the first half. Uh, video should still be on direct stream copy. So you go to file, save as AVI and just change this to part 2 and hit enter. And after that has finished doing what it's doing, uh, we'll have a AVI file that we split it into part 1 and part 2. Uh, if you play part 1, you can simply NQ the second part and you will not notice the transition is that accurate.
Okay, so I'll just let this finish off and then I'll show you how to uh, put two files back together again. Okay, so we are finished with this. And these are two files we are now going to join back together again. And of course we are going to use Virtual Tub again. So we open up Virtual Tub, we get our first AVI file, drag and drop it in. And then with the slider here we want to move to the very end. Again, make sure the frames are matching up. And what we want to do then is go to File and Append AVI Segment. And we then choose our second part and we open that up. And now the center. We will have our join, which you won't be able to notice. Okay, so again, you go to Video, you choose Direct Stream Copy, Audio should already be there, and then you go to File, Save as Avi, and we are now done with the tutorial, so I'll call it done. Um, thanks for watching, I hope this was beneficial to some of you. Um, please give me some suggestions on more tutorials or feedback of uh, what I've been doing. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, Take care.